guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you saw in the title, is about a new pencil from Hourglass that recently came out. And we're going to be comparing it to a cult favorite, the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. So before we get started with the video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. My name is Patty, and I would love it if you hit that red subscribe button down below. And let's not make this intro too long. Let's just go ahead and get started. I get super excited whenever a new eyebrow pencil launches because I just want to find the one. So far, I think my favorite one is the Brow Blade by Urban Decay, but it's double-ended and I feel like it runs out so fast that I haven't repurchased it because I just... $26 and it like lasted me less than a month. It's a little steep. So in this video, we are going to be comparing the new Hourglass one. It's right here in this beautiful brown box. This is the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil, and it has 0.001 ounces in it. The price of this was, I believe, $28, but let me double check for you. Yes, the price of this is $28, and I got it in the Dark Brunettes. And we are going to be comparing it to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. The Anastasia Brow Wiz is $21 and it has 0.003 ounces, which means it has three times as much product as the new Hourglass one. And the Hourglass one is $7 more expensive. So, so far as far as like weight versus price, the Anastasia one seems to be better. I also have the Precisely My Brow here from Benefit. And this one has 0.002 ounces, so a third of what the Anastasia one has. Now, this one I feel like lasts me longer than the Brow Wiz, and I think that's because the Precisely My Brow from Benefit is a bit more pigmented than the Brow Wiz, therefore I probably end up using less of it each time I use it, because this one takes a little bit more building up. So if the Hourglass is super pigmented um, and you need very, very little of it, it might last you longer than the Anastasia one. So weight versus price is not everything, it's about performance. Let's see what this looks like because I haven't even opened this box. Okay, so here it is. This is what the hourglass one looks like. Once you take the caps off, it has a pencil on one side and the spoolie on the other side. And here's how skinny the pencil is. As you can see, it's like a little pinched, which I think would be helpful because it probably helps you draw little hairs. We're going to go ahead and do swatches. We're gonna swatch all three of the pencils so that you guys can see the difference. And I'm going to try my best to apply the same amount of pressure. Okay, so here's all three of them lines. The bottom one is the new Hourglass one, which is the one with the thinnest strokes because it's pinched in the middle. The second one is my Precisely My Brow. I do have this one in the number six, which is a bit darker. So that doesn't necessarily mean that it's more pigmented because I believe the one that would be like the dark brown and the Precisely My Brow would be the number five. Um, so it is darker, but that's because it's a slightly different color. I just want you guys to see that the strokes are a little bit thicker than in the Hourglass one. And then the last one up here is the Brow Wiz, is the one with the thickest strokes. And I believe the color is pretty comparable to the Hourglass pencil. Okay guys, so one more thing in case this is helpful to anyone here is what they look like side by side. And this is what the tips of them look like. I don't know if that helps, but you know, just in case you guys were interested. So in today's video, as you saw in the title, we are going to be comparing the Hourglass one to the Brow Wiz. And the reason I'm doing the Brow Wiz and not the Precisely My Brow is one, the Precisely My Brow, I know I have in a darker shade, so it wouldn't match. The second reason is that I think the Brow Wiz is the most popular one and the one that most people will be familiar with. So I think it is a good comparison because I feel like more people would have tried the Brow Wiz rather than the Precisely My Brow. I'm aware that I look scary without eyebrows, so let's get started with the demo so that we can fix this scary situation. <laughs> I'm going to do the Brow Wiz on my right eyebrow and the Hourglass one on my left eyebrow. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the brow wiz and I'm going to do little hair leg strokes throughout my brow. I hope this video is not super boring. I feel like eyebrows are one of the most boring things to like do. That's why I always do them off camera because nobody wants to sit there and watch me fill in my eyebrows. I'm doing little hairs throughout. This brow wiz pencil doesn't really have that much of a hair like effect when you do it though because it does have a little bit of a thicker kind of tip doing the little hairs though i think helps me to fill in the middle 
I sometimes when I go across it like I don't fill every single little space that I have to fill I think I'm going to do a little bit up here and a little underline okay and then I'm just gonna kind of brush it through I didn't like that top part that looked ridiculous so we're gonna just smooth it out and don't worry about it not looking perfect right now because we are going to clean around it with concealer which helps me perfect it later but this is kind of what I can do with the brow is and I'm hoping that with the hourglass pencil I can get actual hair like strokes okay so this is what this brow looks like and we are going to get started with this one here and the hourglass pencil so again I'm just going to start here at the beginning and I'm going to start drawing little hair like strokes going upwards and because this brow is very arched, I have to kind of make up for some of the hairs that I don't have right here. So we are continuing the little hair strokes and all the way to the end. And then we're going to fill here at the end. I know it currently looks like I've never filled my eyebrows a day in my life, but I promise you it's the mirror. <laughs> I'm used to doing my eyebrows looking right in front of me with both hands, kind of like comparing them as I go. And since I'm doing it for you guys, I'm holding this little mirror in front of me and I can't get perspective on like how they look like in comparison to each other. So... This is what we have and this is as good as it's going to get right now let me tell you what i think about the eyebrow pencil from hourglass so far um i got the dark brunette and i think they had like a soft black or a color that said that had the word black in it but it was like soft or almost black or something like that and i thought about getting that one because i do have quite like dark hair but usually like i don't use granite from anastasia or any of those like semi semi black colors so i thought this would be kind of like what i'm used to but i do think it's a bit lighter than like this per se like this looks a little darker to me than this one so i'm pretty sure i got the wrong color um so what we'll do next is we're going to clean around the eyebrows with some concealer so we can really see the shape and what they look like i can't find my favorite concealer to clean around my eyebrows with which is the um lancome tint title concealer that comes in the squeezy tube so i'll use this instead because this is also kind of like a thick concealer this is the creaseless one and i have it in the color light and the brush i use to clean around my brows is this one right here is a flat brush from morphe the number is m432 so I'm just going to go ahead and grab the concealer from the doll foot applicator and we're going to go ahead and start concealing underneath our eyes. All right, so as you can see, I did a line on top, a line underneath and just blended it into my foundation. Usually eyebrows is the first thing I do, but for the sake of this video and because my face was really red, I went ahead and did my foundation first. And now I'm using this bigger brush, this one is from Sephora Collection, just to blend it into the rest of my makeup. And look at how much more like defined that looks. So let's do the same thing on this hourglass side. So again, we're going to do an underline and we're going to, of course, line the top too. And blend it all out with the big fluffy brush. Now, I'm aware that I do that kind of like Instagram brow that everybody hates and is very structured and I put concealer over and under and all of that. But with the deficit of hair that I have on the tail of my eyebrows, because my eyebrows were very like sad when I was little and I had to like make myself have an arch and they grow down and it's like a whole big deal. Because of all those brow problems that I am faced with, this is what works for me. So if you don't like it, you can kindly just click off and go watch somebody else's video. I don't want to hear it in the comments that my eyebrows look fake or whatever. Sometimes your criticism just isn't necessary. <laughs> okay, so I took a minute just to kind of like make them as even as I could with concealer and this is what we have. This is the brow that has the brow wiz and this is the brow that has the hourglass product. Now, I don't know about you, and it might be that I got the wrong product, but I don't think so. Um, I don't feel like it fully covers all the little like bald spots I have on the top 
right there. I did this one with the hourglass on purpose just because I thought that because it had the pinched end, it would make like better hair-like strokes. But I just see one color throughout the strokes blended with one another and I feel like it didn't really fill it to look like hairs. And I'm going to show you guys that I am making an effort like I am going over and over and over and like trying to like make it look fuller but I don't feel like it's making any difference honestly. While the brow is side right here on the other eyebrow I think looks a bit better. So go ahead and sound off in the comments right now and let me know what you think. Remember the hourglass one is $28, the brow is, is $21. I'm going to go off camera real quick and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to tell you guys my final thoughts. Alright guys, so I am back. My makeup is now fully done. If you guys want to see how to get this eye look, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can check the next video because this eye look is coming up in the next video. And you guys don't want to miss it because it's actually a dupe video. I am wearing two different palettes right now. One on this eye, one on this one. And I can barely tell the difference. So make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future content. So because I left a little disappointed with the hourglass pencil side, I thought to myself, what really is the point of difference of this hourglass pencil? Why is it $7 more expensive than the brow is side, even having so much less product? And I went on the Sephora app and this is what the app has as the description of this pencil. It is an ultra precise, ultra slim brow pencil, perfect for creating the thinnest hair like strokes for naturally defined brows. I honestly don't think it makes it look any more natural than the brow is side and I couldn't really get the hair like strokes I feel like it looks pretty similar to the rest of my eyebrow pencils that are like that but it does have ingredient call outs that might be why the product is more expensive and so I wanted to share them with you this product is free of sulfates, SLS and L SLES parabens, phthalates, and triclosan, and it contains less than 1% synthetic fragrance. It is a vegan and cruelty-free product. I know Anastasia is also cruelty-free, but I don't think the Anastasia one is vegan, so if you are vegan and or you're just interested in mainly using all vegan makeup, then this might be the brow pencil for you. Other than that, I would stick with the cheaper ones that I'm used to getting, like the Brow Wiz or the Precisely My Brow. Even the Kat Von D one, I think I like a little better. The Kat Von D one is $20 and it's also vegan. So I'm a little disappointed because I really wanted this hourglass pencil to be special. Um, but I spent my money so that you guys don't have to, I guess. I love so many other hourglass products. Their blushes and finishing powders and setting powders and foundations are absolutely amazing. This particular pencil I thought was good, but I don't think it's better than the ones that I'm used to. Considering that the other ones are cheaper, I just don't think I will be buying this one again. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What did you think about it? How did you think it looked in comparison to this one? I still think this one looks a bit fuller and a bit better. I don't think the hourglass was able to hide the lack of hair up here at the top of my eyebrow as well. Um, I could have gone for the darker shade and maybe that would have been a little better. But I still don't think I could get those super precise brow hairs that they are promoting you can get with this one. If you guys want, watch my brow blade, is that what it's called, video from Urban Decay. I'm going to go ahead and link it up there on the eye. With that one I could get really nice little hair like strokes and I absolutely love that pencil. I think that is my number one favorite as far as brow pencils are concerned and it's actually two dollars cheaper than this hourglass one go ahead and check that one out if you're looking for a new brow pencil and you can kind of compare all three of them and see what you think <laughs> Alright guys, so with that said, I think that is it for this video. Make sure to please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. If this is the first video you watch with me, my name is Patty, and I would love it if you hit that red subscribe button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye!